welcome back to Tea and Comfort, um, Season 3, Mysteries, Mysteries of God. That's right. Uh, well, you're probably wondering why mysteries. Well, my mom and I, we both love our murder mysteries, our favorites on BBC, Royals World, Midsummer Murders, Rosemary in Time, and of course, Hallmark's Murder Mysteries. But we're not going to be solving any murders. <laughs> But rather, we're going to explore the mysteries of God throughout the Bible and His presence in us, which we can't fully know all of who God is, but we can know Him and know His presence in us that can change our lives. Man, that's a great one. And so today we're going to tell you a story about one life that was changed dramatically through the presence of God. And his name, he is an apostle of Christ. He became an apostle of Christ. His name is Paul. And you can read him. He, Paul was a Jew of Jews, a Hebrew of Hebrews. He was intellectual. He followed the law specifically, but he was also a persecutor of Christians. He hated the people that followed Jesus. And he actually had them killed. And one day he was on his horse and a lightning bolt struck and he fell to the ground. He woke up, he couldn't see, and he said, who are you? And the voice said, why are you persecuting me, Paul? And he goes, who are you? He said, I am Jesus, the Christ whom you're persecuting. And, go, and Paul gave his life right then and there. Yeah, that was to that a radical Christ. change yes. yeah, in his life. And instead of becoming a persecutor yeah. of Christians, he became one of the greatest Christians of all. And he wrote almost two thirds of the New Testament. But I'm going to read one to you, um, which is in the book of Colossians, which is in the New Testament. He was writing to the church there. And it's Colossians 1 25 through 27. And I'm going to read it because I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> Thing from it and Paul says it says by the commission of God give, that God gave me to present to you the Word of God in its fullness the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations but I am now dis but, but is now disclosed to the Saints to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And Paul, you know, actually throughout the Old Testament, God revealed himself to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. And as we just read, Paul is now revealing, you know, that God, it's not a mystery anymore, that God is now revealing himself, not just to the Jewish people, but to all people, to Jew and Gentile, that includes us. And so we too can have that same relationship, that same hope and glory in us, Christ in us, uh, which is amazing, which can change our lives radically too. <laughs> it is. And you know what? That is the good news of yeah. the gospel. The gospel is good news. And that good news is that every person on the face of the earth can receive this, can receive Christ in them. All you have to do is accept Jesus as Savior. Right, if you don't know what that means to receive Christ, it's so simple, you can just ask Jesus into your heart and he'll come in and he'll then start to reveal his mysteries and who he is to you and start to change your life. And Amen. our message throughout all of Tea and Comfort, if you've watched the previous two seasons, it's all about letting you know how much God loves you and he loves you so much and wants a relationship with you. So as you, Join us this season as we continue to explore the mysteries of God and who He is and that you too can have that same rela great relationship with Him and He will just reveal Himself to you too. And so we hope you will join us. <laughs> and one years ago when I came to the Lord and gave my heart to Jesus, but pa my pastor then, I didn't know how much then, but he told me, Margaret, God loves you just the way you are. So whoever you are, whatever you've done in your past, it doesn't matter. With a humble heart, come to the Lord and ask Him to come into your heart. And He will change you as He did my life. Way yeah, back that then. is the good news. Yes. Yes. So Amen. thank you, and I hope you'll continue joining us this next season of Teen Comfort Mysteries. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>